Norm, how, how ready do you think this team is for, for the real deal and the opener? Well, I think we're doing probably what every other team in America is doing, just trying to get prepared, trying to get them in the best shape possible, trying to get them to understand that there's a difference between playing hard and competing. Mm -hmm. And um, when you're competing, you're thinking as well as playing hard and those things. So we're moving in that direction. Uh, we know where we're at right now, and we've got to improve quite a bit. But, you know, it's a process. It takes some time. Are you, given the, the new faces and, and what you lost from last year, do you think you're where you wanted to be with this group, uh, maybe even a little ahead, behind? Do you, do you have a feel on that? I think we're right, probably right where we thought we'd be right now. Okay. And uh, we're hoping that we're gaining on it. Our young guys uh, bring a great enthusiasm and, and energy, but we got to make sure we do it in the right way and we're disciplined in those things. And, and everything's a different, it's a whole different level, playing high school and then and playing college and then at this level. How's MJ doing, and is, is he still not going to be available if he's stepping up for him? He's doing well. He's getting better. He's mm -hmm. getting better, but he hasn't been able to practice full speed for at least a week or so. Mm -hmm. So uh, who knows what will happen tomorrow. I don't foresee him maybe playing tomorrow. You know, he's got to get up to speed, his conditioning, all those things. Mm -hmm. But who would you see stepping up for him in, in that time? Well, it's we've had guys in and out. You know, you got you know Joseph Yesifu, mm -hmm. Bobby Pettiford, both of those guys have had good minutes. Uh, Playing for us, you know, obviously we got Kevin and, and Grady, and, and so we're fine on the perimeter as far as our numbers of guys. But we got to just get him, uh, you know, conditioning and all that stuff and strength back. How do you, or what did you tell the guys about slow starts or fast starts? What did the film show, and what do you have to do to improve on that? Well, I think what we did was we didn't attack the paint. Uh, I think our first seven possessions, we, we shot threes and we never attacked the paint. And, and that's no good for us at any time during the year. And we've got to attack the paint and some either off the bounce or the pass. Uh, we've got to get the ball to the second and third side and then play off a bad closeout. We didn't do that very well in the beginning again. Was Ernest open on any of those possessions? Uh, he might have been open a couple of times for lobs and those things, but he didn't do a very good job of screening. And uh, none of our big guys did. And uh, we've got to do a much better job of that because when we screen, it causes a disadvantage, and now we can play off of that. What do you want to get out of tomorrow night? Get out of just playing Kansas basketball. Playing Kansas basketball, starting the season, season off the right way, um, getting out to a better start, uh, defending the way we're going to need to defend. Because, you know, early on, you know, everybody's trying to catch up offensively. You never know when shots are going to fall. But you need to make other teams play ugly. And that's something that coach preaches all the time. Make the other team play ugly. Defend. If you defend, you always got a chance to win. You, you mentioned the other night that Omaha plays a little bit like Pitt State. How, how similar are they, and, and how much will that help you guys having just seen that? I think they're similar in a way that they can really shoot, too. Mm -hmm. they've, they've got three or four guys that can really make threes and uh, make four or five in the game. Uh, they bring two off the bench. They're young kids, freshmen, that, that are very aggressive and love to shoot it. Uh, you know, Fiddler, Frankie, had a great year last year. He's a guy that's capable of uh, scoring a lot of points because he can score from all three levels. And their backcourt or two guards in, in White and Marshall that are pretty athletic and look to score. They're kind of combo guards more than just point guards. So we're going to have to defend the three-point line. We're going to have to take away slot drives. We gave up way too much of that. And then we've got to protect the rim better. Do you guys know their first-year coach from recruiting at OU and stuff? Yeah, we've known Crutch for forever. For oh. forever. Uh, you know, uh, we've all been in the business a long time. Crutch has done a great job at every stop he's been. Uh, he's a total gentleman, good person. And I'm glad to see he's getting his, his chance and, and a chance at his alma mater. I mean, how cool is that to go back to your alma mater? I know this is just temporary, but uh, have you gotten a lot of texts from coaches around the country either joking with you or talking about strategy? Oh, you're not the head coach for a little while. Uh, yeah, I, I've probably gotten, I've gotten quite a few texts joking around, messing with me as well as uh, – uh, wishing us good luck in, in those things and, and hoping that we do well and, and everything. I've been in the business so long, i got to have a couple of friends, so it's been good. Do, do you know if these wins or losses go on your record or, or Bill's? Oh, Bill's going to definitely say it goes on mine, so <laughs> it's going to go on my record. But, you know, I know, what, you know, when you fill in the shoes of a Hall of Fame coach, it's not easy uh, by any means, but we're going to do it together as a staff. It's not just one guy out there. And, uh, and our guys know, our players know it's about players, about making plays and playing the right way. How have the last couple of days gone with that? Um, 
just the new system, I guess, and, and being joint like Coach talked about? I think I think we're all together. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think our guys understand what's going on. I think our other guys, which is which is great, when you got guys like Jalen and Dewan and even Kevin, who, who are older guys that are experienced guys, they know it's about us all bonding, and it's our culture that we bond together and we look out for each other. So our guys know that they got to come out and play at a certain level. Um, our whole coaching staff is excited about starting the season off, so we're ready to go. Does, uh, how much does a guy like Dooley help? I mean, having been a head coach like you have as well in, in this kind of period of time. I think that helps a ton, you know, because I know even when I first got back with Coach, you when you're a head coach uh, and running your own program, you have a different way of looking at the game. You have a different way of looking at players. Uh, you have a, a, a different type of uh, – calmness to be honest with you mm -hmm. where that you don't get too riled up because you know hey it's a long game hey people make mistakes let's play through this let's get better so having duly there that would be terrific who are your assistants for the two hours of the game who are the uh well you, uh recruiting assistants no, on the bench. The bench. i would say duly duly and jeremy case would be right there and also you know fred quarter bombs on the bench with us as well and uh, looking at fouls and those type things. And then you have a, a, a Brady Morningstar as well. Those are the two replacement guys. We'd be Dooley and Brady Morningstar. Oh. Those are two replacement coaches. What about uh, the starting lineup? When will you set it with Coach, and will you reveal it? Yeah. Coach is setting it, and it's not me setting anything. <laughs> but but uh, uh, we haven't decided that yet. You know, we're just, we're just trying to get our team better. We're trying to see what lineups are going to be best for us. So we're not really there yet. What, what was the deciding factor on the five that went first the other night? Do you, do you know? I think familiarity. Okay. Uh, you know, guys that have been here for a while. K.J. Adams brings a ton of energy mm -hmm. and those things. But, you know, like Coach said in the uh, press conference, Gritty, Gritty takes a starter. Yeah. You know, we got six starters or whatever it may be. Sure. So. Anything else? Uh, I was just wondering, for an update, what are Justin and Nico doing? Is he still assistant commissioner? Uh, yeah, associate, associate commissioner out in the Mountain West Conference for the men's and women's basketball. He's living in Colorado Springs. He's doing good. And uh, Justin is working here in the McClendon Foundation uh, initiative here. And he's working on campus and those things. So we see him every day. So I'm still paying for him, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, so. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.